Morrison was on track to become the future of British soul music with his hit Return of the Mac. Unfortunately, his bad boy antics didn't benefit his career like other singers. Mark Morrison was born at a British army base in West Germany to parents from Barbados, spent his first 11 years in Leicester, England, and then moved with his family to Miami, Florida. He later returned to England in his late teens, where he started working on music. Before shooting to prominence with his breakout single, Return of the Mac, he had a few run-ins with the law. He was fined 50 pounds by Leicester magistrates in 1993 for obstructing a police officer. Then he spent three months in prison in 1995 after he instigated a brawl a year prior, which resulted in the death of a young student. While incarcerated, he wrote Return of the Mac, vowing to be a model citizen. He said, when I wrote that song, it was all about me moving from the negative into the positive. And that's how it turned out. Within the space of a year, I went from the lowest point of my life to return as the Mac and move forward to what's become the highest point in my life. Handcuffs. Handcuffs. What's that all about? You were in prison for a while, weren't you? Everybody, I think, has been to prison. But, you know, uh, I've never been to prison. Everybody You've never been to prison? <laughs> I've never been to prison. Everybody you hang out with. I've always managed Everybody's to Everybody's been. Through. No, um... <laughs> I don't really speak about the handcuffs. I mean, some people that know what they're about I'll be watching the show right now. But you wrote the Mac while you were in prison, no? Yeah. yeah. No. I started it in prison. Right. What's yeah. it about? Return well, of the Mac. Tell me a little bit. The song, how mm. I wrote it, was about, it's more like a love relationship. Boy and girl, and he wants to go into a higher elevation, and she has no confidence in her man. So she leaves him for another. He becomes a Mac. She wants him back, but it don't happen like <laughs> The song was released on March 18, 1996, and was successful in five continents. Return of the Mac went platinum in America and double platinum in the UK. The album, with the same title, spent 38 weeks on the UK albums chart and earned him several award nominations. Don't be shy. During the height of his success, he just couldn't stay out of trouble, and he was now being labeled the new bad boy in music. In October 1996, he was involved in an incident at a supermarket where he was allegedly planning a robbery. Mark, who was 24 years old at the time, pulled out a taser as the cops approached him and shouted, I'm Mark Morrison. He was sentenced to three months in jail the following May and was released in June after serving six weeks of his three-month sentence. In 1997, he was ordered to pay a $100,000 fine for threatening someone who he thought kicked his car. Three weeks later, Mark got another 21 days for punching a man who criticized his music and was hit with a further 14-day term after smashing a photographer's camera. Then in August, he was arrested after attempting to bring a firearm on the plane. He was arrested again on December 27th following an altercation outside of a nightclub. Mark was set to appear in court for the firearm incident in January 1998, but instead he fled the country and went to Barbados for two months where he claims he was attending rehab. He was arrested on his return to London at the Heathrow Airport but the charges were ultimately dropped. He told the court that he went to Barbados to think about his future and his terminally ill father. While all of this was happening, he was doing stage acts, brandishing handcuffs, and his female backup dancers dressed as police women, which made people assume he was mocking his legal troubles. Mark was still serving a community service sentence for his part in the scuffle at the nightclub in 1994 that ended in the death of the student. He had served only 42 of the 150 hours, and in early 1998, he was busted for having an impersonator perform his community service for him. The lookalike was revealed as his bodyguard, Gabriel Maferica, who managed to trick people into thinking he was Mark, despite having a beard and dreadlocks. 
He was sentenced to one year in prison for using someone else to perform his community service, and the sentence forced him to postpone his U.S. promotional tour. That year, he was also banned from driving for six months after driving without a full driver's license twice. While incarcerated, he converted to Islam and changed his name to Abdul Rahman. He also attempted to further erase his past by seeking legal advice to get out of his contract with Warner Music. After leaving jail, he immediately went on a British television show that day. Mark discussed how the experience had driven him closer to God and said that he wasn't proud of his actions and that he hoped to set a better example for his young fans in the future. Okay, this morning you woke up. Tell everybody where you woke up. Um, somewhere up there. No, I woke up in the, um, the penitentiary. penitentiary. That's right. Yeah. And you've been in prison for nine months, is it? Eleven. Eleven months? Yeah, give me credit for the other two. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and this morning, you, you came out, you, you, were, you were released this morning. Yeah. At 8.30, was it? Yeah, 8.30. Um, I came through the gates. And um, back to back to life, back to reality. Straight back into life. Yeah, man. Happy New Year, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Happy New Year. Moment. Yeah. Uh, but um, whilst you're in prison, it's not a heroic thing, is it? And it, no, know, it's, um, not, it's not a good thing. You're not proud of it in any way. No, I'm not here to glamorize. I mean, I have a lot of young fans, and I accept that. You know, even though I felt innocent in the charge they gave me, I was guilty of the way I was acting at times. Has it changed you? Spiritually, I'm, I'm a lot closer to God. Yep. Spiritually, but. My heart was never bad, you know. My mama raised me to be, you know, a, a, a genuine person. And I never felt that I was a bad person, but I felt that I was doing irresponsible things. Right. And i just like to know, you know, from now to my young fans, I'm going to stop being the example and start trying to set the example. I think that's very important. Okay, I want to thank you. In an interview with The Guardian, he said, Prison was a learning experience. I learned to be patient. Most B-category prisoners are locked in 23 hours a day. You get two showers a week if you're lucky. Two changes of boxer shorts, one shirt. I sent someone else to do the community hours, but I never lied about it. People asked, did you do them? And I said, yes. I just didn't say I did all of them. I had sold millions of records as I reached the end of my hours. So what was I gonna do? Eight hours of mopping and sweeping? Or go to Europe for promotion? Instead of turning up to do his community service, he sent a look-alike along. It had to be done. You know, I made an effort to do those hours. I'd done like 30% of those hours. Then they expect me to go um, clean up a high school. All right, go top of the pops in the morning, in the evening. Next day, high school kids watch Mark Morrison. They want to humiliate me. Why do you go humiliate Eric Cantor? Why does he get to teach kid, kids to play soccer? Why can't I teach music to kids? I was paying 100,000 pounds taxes a year. Shit, what, what more you want me to do? They ended up going to prison for it. For the next three years, Mark was able to stay out of legal trouble. Until 2002, when he was on the run from the cops for kidnapping and auto theft after abducting a London woman who allegedly stole his bracelet. He allegedly forced her into her own Mercedes outside her home and drove her around threatening her. The cops found her car outside his mansion and took him into custody. Shortly after, he was released on bail, but a police officer was arrested on suspicion of corruption and perverting the course of justice. The officer took a bribe from Mark to grant him bail. After Mark posted bail, a warrant was issued for his arrest, but he never returned as required and was on the run again. In 2004, he was arrested again for an incident at the club where a man stole his diamond medallion. He released his sophomore album, Innocent Man, in 2006, which had features from a bunch of artists like DMX, Elephant Man, Adina Howard, and Alexander O'Neill. And finally, in 2009, he was arrested for battery after getting into an altercation with another guy. Mark has since remained under the radar for the last decade and hasn't released any commercially successful music since Return of the Mac. But he did release an EP in 2014, and Return of the Mac has since been featured in Burger King and McDonald's commercials and used in numerous other movies and TV shows. He 
currently lives in Palm Beach, Florida, and this year he returned to his hometown of Leicester, England to discuss crime in the city. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and like this video and subscribe to Black Femininity TV for more content.